Today I will be showing you guys, finally, how to do this. Step one, take it out. It's kind of tight. Once you have it removed, take it inside. Sorry for the glare. Okay, step one, you gotta take it apart. Okay, for the next step, you're going to want to uh, take these folded pieces of metal and fold them, uh, straighten them out. These, there's four of them. You want to put your hand over the gauge face. The same on this side. So what I did is I trimmed out a lot of the little junk on the bottom, tabs and whatnot. I cleared them all out so that the strip could fit around everything. And then you pretty much just put the strip in. I went to town on this part. I had to cut it all out because I wanted the uh, LCD screen to change color as well. So one thing that you'll want to do is get rid of all of the green off of the back of your gauges, which allows them to be whatever color you want. So I used nail polish remover and a Q-tip to get in there because I did not want to take the needles off. And then you just go to town, get that green off. So once you get a space cleared, you can just uh, put your LED strip in. This is where I suggest testing your strips to make sure that they're working properly before you start closing things up.
So you're going to want to remove all these lights that go here, little bulbs. They are these four big ones. And then you're ready for reassembly. Before you go and reassemble, you want to clean all of your greasy fingerprints off of everything. Once everything's fully cleaned out, you can just start gently reassembling everything. Don't be afraid if it takes a little bit of pressure to push everything down. Just try not to put your fingerprints on the face. Just press on the base of the needles and everything that's covered up to get everything lined up so that these poke through again. One more step of cleaning and testing to make sure everything's good to go. Now turn off the lights and do your final test. Now it's just a matter of reinstalling it in your car. Whoa, I can't believe that worked. As for wiring, I just wired the controller up to my 12 volt adapter there. And let's see if I can do this. There we go. That is how you make your gauge cluster into a rainbow. But if you want to go the extra mile, you do the whole damn car.